from Europe to Asia, we'll take you on a roller coaster ride through time, where kings, queens, and emperors became entangled in webs of scandal that no amount of riches could conceal. Brace yourselves for tales of betrayal, espionage, and even murder that have remained hidden for centuries. Here are 20 vast royal scandals that money could not silence. Number 20. The Tour de Nel Affair In 1314, King Philip IV of France enjoyed a prosperous dynasty. Queen Isabel of England, his daughter, happily married, and his sons with noble wives. Isabel gifted embroidered purses to her sisters-in-law during a family gathering. To her surprise, two knights in her father's court possessed the same purses. Realizing the significance, Isabel informed the king, leading to the discovery of the princess's scandalous affair with their lovers at the Tour de Nel Fortress in Paris. The consequences were dire. The lovers faced torture and execution, while the princesses were imprisoned, disfigured, and stripped of their inheritance rights. Shortly after, King Philip passed away, and his dynasty crumbled within a generation, with a distant cousin inheriting the French throne. The succession dispute triggered the Hundred Years' War, engulfing Western Europe in a lengthy and brutal conflict. Some believe that King Philip's downfall resulted from a curse placed on him by Jacques de Molay, the Grand Master of the Templars, who was unjustly executed in 1314. Number 19. The Virgin Queen Queen Elizabeth I, known as the Virgin Queen, rejected marriage, dedicating herself to her duties and subjects. Despite rumors of secret lovers such as Robert Dudley, Elizabeth avoided tying the knot. In 1560, Dudley's wife died under mysterious circumstances, raising suspicions of Elizabeth's involvement in foul play. The societal pressure for her to marry heightened. But Elizabeth, a skilled politician, navigated relationships with men, blending them with notions of romance. She had connections with figures like Sir Christopher Hatton, Sir Walter Raleigh, and the younger Robert Devereux. Parliament initially sought her marriage for international alliances, but shifted focus to securing an heir by 1566. They urged Mary to marry, but she defied their attempts, ultimately naming James, the son of Mary, Queen of Scots, as her successor. Elizabeth's refusal to wed had lasting political ramifications for the English monarchy. Number 18. Queen Mary's Tragic Life Mary's reign from 1553 to 1558 is notorious for religious persecutions and the execution of over 300 Protestants. However, her life was marked by sorrow and hardship. Born to Catherine of Aragon, King Henry VIII's first wife, Mary faced a sorrowful existence when her mother was banished and replaced by Anne Boleyn. Her father's rejection and pursuit of divorce cast a shadow of sadness and loneliness on her formative years. At 38, Mary found solace in her marriage to Philip of Spain. Although love didn't blossom, Philip showed generosity and attentiveness. The pressure to produce an heir strained their relationship. In September 1554, Mary believed she was pregnant for the first time, raising hopes for an heir. She displayed pregnancy symptoms, but fate had a different plan, shattering her longed-for reality. Number 17. Princess Anne's Dog Attacks Two Children Princess Anne, known as the Princess Royal, made history as the first royal member convicted of a criminal offense. In April 2002, her English bull terrier Dottie bit two children in Windsor Great Park. Princess Anne and her husband, Commodore Tim Lawrence, faced charges under the Dangerous Dogs Act. In court, Princess Anne pleaded guilty and was fined 500 pounds, with an additional 500 pounds compensation for the children. Fortunately, the boys, aged 12 and 7, did not sustain serious injuries. This made Princess Anne the first senior royal to face legal consequences. During the trial, a dog psychologist testified that Dottie was gentle and playful arguing against euthanasia. The judge spared Dottie's life, but imposed strict measures, including training and always keeping the dog on a leash in public. The judge expressed regret that the incident made the children fearful of dogs, hoping they would develop a more positive view. Charges against Commodore Lawrence were dropped as Prince Anne took full responsibility. Number 16. The Windsor Castle Fire 
In November 1992, a massive fire engulfed the Queen's private chapel in the royal residence. The fire started when a curtain came into contact with a spotlight, igniting it. Agents of the royal household were present, inspecting artworks at the time. The castle's fire brigade received an alarm, and the location was identified on a grid map, initially showing the Brunswick Tower illuminated. However, flashing lights soon indicated that the fire had rapidly spread to neighboring rooms, including a significant part of the state apartments. Nearby building contractors attempted to combat the blaze with fire extinguishers. Firefighters, staff, and tradesmen joined forces to save furniture and artwork from the endangered areas, relocating them to the castle's riding school. The main loss was to the castle's structure, as the false ceiling in St. George's Hall and the void beneath the floor allowed the fire to spread extensively. Ceilings collapsed, and several rooms, such as the Crimson Drawing Room and the Queen's Private Chapel, suffered severe damage including the destruction of the 19th century Henry Willis organ and valuable oak paneling. Number 15. Squidgy Gate In 1992, the Sun newspaper exposed the existence of a recorded phone conversation from 1989 between Princess Diana and her friend James Gilby. During the call, Gilby affectionately referred to Diana as Squidgy multiple times. They discussed various topics, including Diana's concerns about pregnancy, the Queen's perception of her, and the TV show EastEnders. Although Diana denied any romantic involvement, acknowledging Gilby's affectionate nature, she clarified that the implications of the conversation suggesting an adulterous relationship were untrue. The tape provided revealing moments, such as Gilby asking Diana for a kiss and expressing his desire to hold her close. He referred to her as darling 53 times, and Squidgy 14 times during the call. Curiously, a retired bank manager named Cyril Renan, a ham radio enthusiast in Oxfordshire, claimed to have recorded the conversation on January 4, four days after it occurred. He contacted The Sun on January 8, selling the tape for approximately $10,000. Number 14. When Captain Mark Phillips Had a Love Child New Idea exposed a long-hidden affair involving Princess Anne's former husband, Captain Mark Phillips, and New Zealander Heather Tonkin. Over 30 years ago, Phillips fathered a secret love child, Felicity Tonkin, with the art teacher. The affair took place while Phillips was still married to Princess Anne, resulting in the birth of Felicity, who is now the half-sister of Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips. It was reported that Phillips urged Tonkin to terminate the pregnancy but he has been in denial about his daughter ever since her birth, according to royal sources. Phillips provided minimal child support of $12,000 per year, but distanced himself from Felicity. When the payments decreased, Tonkin sought a better arrangement for her daughter, including legal action. In 1991, a court-ordered DNA test confirmed Phillips as the father. Tonkin expressed her hope for a fair and legally binding settlement highlighting the emotional toll and financial uncertainties she'd faced while planning for her daughter's future. Number 13. Annas Horribilis The year 1992 will forever be remembered as Queen Elizabeth II's Annas Horribilis, or her horrible year. It witnessed the marital troubles of three of her children, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, and Princess Anne. Adding to the turmoil, Anne remarried despite her ex-husband still being alive, marking the first instance of a British monarch's child remarrying after divorce. Throughout the year, tensions between the media and the royal family reached a boiling point. Princess Diana's revealing memoir unveiled scandals within the family, and the Duchess of York's affair with her financial advisor made headlines. The relentless onslaught of negative publicity culminated in the Queen's speech where she acknowledged the value of criticism in public life, but urged for a gentler and more understanding approach. In her remarks, the Queen emphasized that although scrutiny is essential, it should be tempered with kindness, good humor, and comprehension, highlighting the interconnectedness of all within the fabric of national society. Number 12. Queen Mary's Hysterical Pregnancy Queen Mary's prolonged false pregnancy caused great speculation and rumors. By June 1555, with no news of a royal baby, the anticipation grew. Mary convinced everyone that she was close to giving birth, 
blaming her timing for the delay. In a statement, she claimed that God would only allow her child to be born once all Protestant dissenters were punished, leading to more executions. False rumors circulated, suggesting that she was never pregnant and that the fetus was a pet monkey or a lapdog. There were even rumors of a plot to pass off someone else's baby as the Queen's own, with Lord North allegedly involved. By August 1555, hopes were still held for a child's arrival. However, Mary emerged from her confinement chamber in August, impossibly thin, silent, and humiliated. The topic of her pregnancy was no longer mentioned officially at court. It is believed that Mary suffered from pseudocyesis, also known as a phantom pregnancy, a condition that remains incompletely understood even today, with only a small percentage of pregnancies turning out to be false. Number 11. The Inbreeding of Charles II of Spain Charles II of Spain, born in 1661, ascended the throne at the age of four in 1665. Despite his early start in ruling, he faced a significant problem, a face that even his mother couldn't love. The Habsburgs, determined to maintain their power, frequently married their own blood relatives, leading to severe inbreeding after 16 generations. Charles II's grandmother and aunt were the same person, exemplifying the extent of the inbreeding in his family. The Habsburg jaw curse, a prominent family trait, attracted the attention of scientists studying its genetic implications. The ability to produce heirs is a crucial aspect of royal marriages, but genetics were not in Charles II's favor. He suffered from two genetic disorders. Combined pituitary hormone deficiency made him short, impotent, infertile, weak, and plagued with digestive problems. Additionally, he had distal renal tubular acidosis, characterized by blood in the urine, weak muscles, and an abnormally large head compared to his body. These genetic disorders were a result of the legacy of inbreeding within his family. Number 10. The Off-Putting Queen Caroline Queen Caroline was an odd and unattractive figure known for her tactlessness and poor personal hygiene. Despite her unappealing qualities, she caught the eye of George IV, the Prince of Wales, who sought a wealthy marriage to alleviate his debts. However, their union was far from blissful. On their wedding night, George was so intoxicated that he passed out until morning. Nevertheless, they managed to conceive their only child, Princess Charlotte. Disgusted by Caroline, George refused to live with her and sent a note informing her of his decision to cease all relations. Caroline, interpreting this as freedom, embarked on a scandalous lifestyle in Blackheath, London. She entertained guests with a provocative clockwork Chinese figure and engaged in indelicate dances, exposing her body inappropriately for a lady and a wife of a prince. When George IV was crowned, Caroline's behavior reached a new low. She attempted to enter the abbey, declaring herself the queen, only to be denied entry and humiliated by the officials. Undeterred, she demanded her own coronation, which was denied. Tragically, Caroline passed away just 19 days later, having lived a tumultuous and undignified life. Number 9. The Airing of Royal Laundry by Charles and Diana The strained relationship between Charles, the Prince of Wales, and Princess Diana was evident from the beginning. After their separation in 1992, they publicly exchanged accusations of infidelity. Diana famously revealed that their marriage involved three people, making it crowded. The hostility abruptly ended in 1997 when Diana tragically died in a car crash in Paris. Following Diana's passing, Charles went on to marry Camilla Parker Bowles, the woman Diana referred to as the third party in their marriage. But how did it all begin? Diana was only 19 when she got engaged to the 32-year-old Prince Charles in 1981 while Camilla, then 33, was married to Andrew Parker Bowles. Diana later shared that discussions about Camilla were always present in her relationship with Charles. She even overheard him expressing his love to Camilla during a phone call, leading to a heated argument between them. In 1994, Charles admitted to the affair, stating in an interview that he had remained faithful until his relationship with Diana became irreparably broken. Number 8 the abdication of King Edward VIII. 
The abdication of King Edward VIII, though scandalous, was driven by love rather than infidelity. In 1936, shortly after his coronation, he announced his intention to marry Wallace Simpson, an American socialite going through her second divorce. However, marrying a divorcee with a living ex-spouse would have violated civil and religious laws at the time, leading to a constitutional crisis. Less than a year into his reign, Edward VIII made the unprecedented and highly criticized decision to choose love over power, abdicating the throne. This choice had a profound impact on history. In his historic speech, Edward expressed his unwavering devotion to Wallace, stating that he could not fulfill his duties as king without her support. He emphasized that the decision was his alone, made with the country and the empire in mind. Edward's abdication altered the course of his life and the monarchy, forever shaping the legacy of both himself and the British royal family. Number 7. The Tumultuous Love Life of Princess Margaret Princess Margaret, unlike her sister, Queen Elizabeth II, enjoyed a level of freedom to pursue her passions. She embarked on an affair with the married Peter Townsend, who later divorced his wife and proposed to Margaret in 1952. Margaret did not need permission to marry him, as the Royal Marriages Act was deemed outdated by Prime Minister Eden. However, the scandal surrounding their relationship proved too overwhelming, leading to its demise. In 1960, Margaret married Anthony Armstrong Jones, who became Lord Snowden and the Viscount Lindley. The couple eventually divorced due to infidelity on both sides. In the 1970s, Princess Margaret suffered a nervous breakdown and received therapy for depression. By 2001, she had experienced strokes, resulting in partial loss of vision and paralysis. Despite their physical separation, Margaret and Queen Elizabeth II remained close confidants, as reported by Vanity Fair. Prince Margaret passed away in 2002 at the age of 71, leaving behind a complex legacy filled with romantic controversies and personal struggles. Number 6. King Frederick VII of Denmark's Reign of Debauchery Frederick VII was the final Danish monarch of the older royal branch of the House of Oldenburg, ruling as an absolute monarch from 1848 to 1863. Despite his position, he wasn't particularly committed to governance. As crown prince, he led a dissolute life, fueling discussions about abolishing absolute monarchy. Denmark transitioned to a constitutional monarchy under his rule, with the king signing the constitution on June 5, 1849. Frederick VII's reign was marked by the Schleswig-Holstein conflict, where he became a symbol of national unity. Although unstable by nature, his unassuming demeanor garnered him numerous supporters. His marriage to Louise Rasmussen faced significant opposition from bourgeois circles, but the couple remained popular with the rural population. Unfortunately, their union was unhappy and childless, with Frederick's drinking habits and affairs leading to unrest and eventually divorce in 1837. His reign saw the establishment of a Danish parliament and the transformation into a constitutional monarchy. Number 5. William II Died While Hunting in the Forest Accident or Assassination on August 2nd, 1100, a controversial event unfolded in the New Forest, sparking ongoing debate among historians. The demise of Rufus, also known as King William II, remains a subject of contention nearly a millennium later. The king met his end during a hunting accident. As he approached a stag he had shot, a stray arrow, supposedly fired by Sir Walter Tyrrell, struck him in the chest. Rufus's younger brother, Henry, was also part of the hunting party. Upon learning of his brother's death, Henry swiftly rode to Winchester to secure the royal treasury and then proceeded to London to be crowned King Henry I. The speed of his actions has led to speculation that the incident may have been a premeditated regicide. King William II, known for his strong and oppressive rule, had enemies due to his reputation as a brutal and corrupt tyrant. His strained relationship with the church, including conflicts with Archbishop Anselm of Canterbury, further added to his troubles. Number 4. Queen Victoria's Two Controversial Relationships Queen Victoria developed a close bond with her Indian attendant, Abdul Karim, who rose from servant to a position in her inner circle. 
Their friendship, which lasted for 14 years, starting from the 1887 celebration, is portrayed in the film Victoria and Abdul, featuring Dame Judi Dench as the queen. Kareem, known as her beloved Munchie, taught Victoria Urdu and educated her on Indian affairs while introducing her to Curry. Queen Victoria showered him with gifts, titles, and honors, which caused resentment within the royal family. Following Victoria's death in 1901, her family deported Kareem back to India and tried to erase his presence from history. Prior to Kareem, Victoria formed a controversial relationship with a Scottish servant named John Brown although there is no evidence of a romantic involvement between them. Brown's frankness and abrasiveness towards other royal household members sparked rumors and led to satirical portrayals in publications like Punch. The film Mrs. Brown, 1997, also explored their relationship, with Dame Judi Dench playing Queen Victoria and Billy Connolly portraying John Brown. Number 3. Henry VIII Creates the Church of England King Henry VIII desired to annul his first marriage to Catherine of Aragon, but the Pope forbade it. In response, Henry established the Church of England in 1534 and declared himself its head, severing ties with the Catholic Church. However, this move left him with limited options for remarriage within the Church. Driven by his infatuation with Anne Boleyn, who had a keen interest in the Protestant Reformation, Henry sought independence from the Pope and the prospect of fathering an heir, even if it meant facing excommunication. Henry's affection was fickle, and his marriage to Anne Boleyn lasted a mere three years and three months. Their daughter, Elizabeth I, was the only child they had together. Henry, believing scandalous rumors about Anne's affairs, had her executed. He went on to marry four more times, and each of the marriages ended tragically for the women involved. Number 2. Prince Philip compares Lockerbie plane crash to water damage at Windsor Castle. Scotland faced tragedy in 1988 when terrorists bombed Pan Am Flight 103, resulting in the deaths of 259 people on board and 11 others in Lockerbie. In 1993, Prince Philip visited the site and made an unfortunate comparison to the previous year's Windsor Castle fire, which caused no fatalities. His remark about water damage drew criticism. Prince Philip, who recently passed away at the age of 99, was the longest-serving consort in British monarchy history. While he was involved in charitable organizations such as the Worldwide Fund for Nature, he was famous for making offensive statements. In 1986, during a visit to China, he referred to Beijing as ghastly and made a racially insensitive comment about slitty eyes. At a World Wildlife Fund meeting, he made a derogatory remark about Cantonese cuisine. These instances merely scratch the surface of his problematic track record. Number 1. A man breaks into Queen Elizabeth II's bedroom. In 1982, an unemployed British man named Michael Fagan climbed a drainpipe at Buckingham Palace and entered Queen Elizabeth II's unguarded bedroom. He roamed the private chambers for 15 minutes before anyone noticed. Carrying a shard of a broken ashtray, Fagan intended to harm himself in front of the Queen. When the Queen woke up and found him, they reportedly chatted for about 10 minutes, although Fagan later clarified that they didn't actually have a talk. Fagan asked for a cigarette, and the Queen was able to call for help. According to the official report, the Queen attracted the attention of a maid, and together they led Fagan into a nearby pantry, joined by a footman until the police arrived. Fagan was charged with burglary, but since trespassing into the Queen's bedroom was then a civil offense, the charges were dropped and he was committed for a psychiatric evaluation. It was only in 2007 that trespassing became a criminal offense. And that concludes our top 20 list. From controversial affairs to treacherous betrayals, these royal scandals have left a lasting impact on history reminding us that even those in positions of power are not immune to the temptations of scandal. Remember, the truth may be hidden, but it's our duty to unveil it. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.